How do I rewire for legacy mode on Infinity Carrier System? I followed the diagram which is pretty simple, letter to letter, but it blew the fuse. I'll do all I can to help. How long have you been dealing with this? I've had the system almost 10 years. After the first five the system lost communication with the blower motor and was replaced under warranty. Now five years later it is happening again only not under warranty. New motor is $1,200 which is crazy since the motor works fine, it's the communication that keeps glitching which is built into the motor. I really want to run the system conventional without communication. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes, I'm an electrical contractor. Anything else we should know to help you best? Not that I can think of. So you are rewiring from communication mode to standard 24V? So I assume you wired from A, B, C, D dot to R, G, Y, W at both ends? And what about the AC unit? R to R on stat, blower and compressor G to G on stat and blower W to W on stat and blower, compressor has a W but I did not use it, Y on stat to Y on blower to Y1 on compressor Y2 on stat to Y2 on compressor, no Y2 on blower, C to C on stat, blower and compressor. Remove jumper on stat from R to RC. Is this a standard AC or heat pump? Or do you have the model number of furnace and AC? Carrier Infinity Series Compressor, 24 Anna 760A003 Fan, FE4 ANB006000. Stat I attempted to use, Honeywell RTH 6350D. Thank you, just a moment. Okay I see there are a few control changes when you revert to standard wiring. There are some circuit board dip switches that need changed for proper CFM since the it will not communicate anymore. Now before I get to the important part. Are we sure it is a 24 Anna 7 and not a 24 Anna 1? I'm pretty sure. My packing slip says 24 Anna 7. The manual that came with it is for the 1 and the 7. Is there somewhere else I should check? That's good for now. Now dot at the thermostat dot did you use RC terminal for the C wire? Just check the nameplate on the unit. It's a 7. Thank you. And your C connection at the thermostat dot is it on RC terminal? I removed the jumper between R and RC. Okay, that is the short. Leave the jumper in R and RC dot tape off the C wire to the thermostat. This thermostat does not use a C. R equals 24V for heat RC equals 24V for cooling that is why they are jumped. If you had two different sources dot like a boiler and AC then we would have two different inputs. For this thermostat we need the jumper in and C taped off. I keep the C from blower to compressor? That is correct. In this case RC equals R, 24V, cooling and if you ever see RH dot equals R, 24V, heating. The C will always be a C or COM. The dip switches? I am copying for you dot just a moment. Page 6 left hand side here. If you need further info, there is 30 days of follow up after the service is rated. Billy. I have no idea what to set these at. I will copy and edit for you dot just a moment. 
Good news. The dip switches are for FE4 units. Yours will default to standard CFM but will not ramp up and down as a variable communicating unit. Short story is wire as described and you are all set. Billy. Did I do the Y and Y2 wiring right? I was surprised the blower only had Y. That's because the blower talked to the unit to adjust airflow. In standard mode, the outdoor unit will run two stages, but airflow will not. You wired correctly. Okay, so I will still have two stage cooling? That is correct. You will just not have the associated ramping of blower. Unfortunately, that is one of the things we give up when converting away from the A, B, C, D communicating system. If I had it stat that has low, medium, high and auto for the fan, would that control the speed? That. No, it will not. Once leaving communication mode, dot, we have only one 24V input, G, so the blower will not be able to be wired like a standard line volt multi tap fan. It sounds worse than it is. Dot, the unit will still run, cool, heat, etc. Dot, you will just be losing a little efficiency. You will not notice a physical difference except ramping of blower speed. Great. Sounds better than forking over $1,200 every five years. Will this rewiring disable all communication? Especially between the motor and the control board which is where the fault is. It will work as a traditional system as if you had non-communicating system. Look at this as analog instead of digital. Okay. Thank you for your help. One last question just so I understand how this works. That stat will determine and send signal for first and second stage cooling? So that I would still have the efficiency of two-stage compressor? Correct. Let's say you need only one degree of cooling. The unit will kick on and discharge a Prox 58F. If the thermostat cannot gain in temp or falls behind, Y2 is engaged, at which point you will feel closer to 50F discharge. Okay, so I will still have that efficiency but will lose the variable speed of the blower. I take it the dehumidifying will no longer work either. Not as well. Giving up the communication takes away the bells and whistles. It will still dehumidify but not as it was designed to with the communicating feature. But dot it will still dehumidify as any AC does. Now I can use one of those fancy Wi-Fi stats without spending 1k for the carrier version. That is also correct dot but if you go Wi-Fi you will likely be hooking the C wire up as most Wi-Fi use a C terminal. So make sure you do not cut any unused wires. Just tape and push back as you may use later. Thanks again for your help. You are very welcome. Any glitches just stop back by and leave message on this same thread and I will be notified. Just rate service to close for now. Billy if you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.